Hello, welcome all of you for the module number 6 and here I am going to deliver the chapter module number 6 for marginal costing and absorption costing. We already discussed the theory uh, portions in earlier video lectures that we were discussing what is marginal cost and what is absorption costing and what are the differences between these two techniques and two methods. Marginal costing is all about a variable expenses where we are very much concentrate and focus only on a variable part of expenditures which are material, labor, direct expenses and other variable overheads. In absorption costing we applied both the cost, variable cost as well as fixed cost. Here the marginal costing technique would be helpful to evaluate it and understand what amount of costing has been changed when one unit increase or decrease. So in that sense the marginal costing technique would be helpful to improvisation of your profitability through the contribution. So the contribution is always a main figure and main features in this particular method where there are many other things to be evaluated and identified in the marginal costing like margin of safety, you can identify the take off a break even chart, break even point, profit earning ratios, profit volume ratios. These are the things to be considered under this particular unit. So here we are starting a problems of a marginal costing uh, chapter and for that the all of you have to refer the questions for video lectures problems. So here the first problem regarding the marginal costing is the some informations are, are given for the particular company and these informations are here in this first uh, problem we were try to solve out only the one concern that is break even point in different type of break even point formula so the first problem is very much con uh, easy to uh, try to get an idea what is uh, actually we are try to do it in this unit and how to determine the break even point for that we have a certain informations regarding this problem let's uh, discuss the problem they ask very specifically what you have to identify and what you have to find out and that is break even point we need to find out break even point in two ways one is in value and other one is in units for that we have information selling price per unit is given 40 rupees so selling price per unit is rupees 40 material and labor cost is given per unit it comes to rupees 22 then other variable cost is given other variable overheads is given that is also per unit and it is rupees 6 then fixed overheads given uh, fixed overheads uh, factory and selling and distribution so factory fixed overheads annual that is rupees 10 lakh 80 thousand and selling and distribution fixed overheads is given that is also annual rupees 5 lakh 4 thousand if I am not wrong just confirm yes it is 5 lakh 4 thousand so these are the informations given to solve out a break even point in value as well as in units we have to identify two more things but that we will discuss later on these are the basic informations to calculate first part of break even point and these are the enough informations so from these informations we will identify how to find out the break even point let's start with this first concern break even point i want to tell you break even point is all about a uh, positions of the company where the company will not earn any profit or loss it means it is a situation where the no profit no loss consideration and in that regard we will identify that uh, the how much amount of units need to manufacture then the company can reach the break even point so from these available informations we need to identify what is a break even point position and the formula for the break even point is total fixed cost divided by contribution this is your formula so it in, in means that the company wanted some company needs informations of contribution from the available items and from the available information because of the break even point can be identified through contribution only they have a fixed cost 
but they did not have a contribution so first what they have to do it they need to identify the contribution contribution is all about a position where the company will identify the variable cost and deduct it from the sales price it means the contribution is a position where the variable cost is already done considered but the fixed cost yet to be considered fixed cost is still remaining so this is your contribution so now we will identify how to consider the contribution first contributions formula is s minus v that means sales minus variable cost we have a selling price and that is rupees 40 we have a variable cost also and variable cost we have a two one is 22 rupees of material and six rupees is labor so in this regard rupees 40 minus rupees 28 and the total amount of contribution it comes rupees 12 so the company have a 12 rupees contribution per unit because of all these informations are given per unit so that's why your contribution is also per unit now this contribution would be considered in the main formula to identify break even point so total fixed cost we have a two fixed cost one is 10 lakh 80 thousand rupees fixed cost for factory and 5 lakh 4 thousand rupees fixed cost for selling price and then divided by 12 rupees per unit and this is your contribution now when you compare the fixed cost and contribution you would be getting an idea that the break even point in units this is a formula for break even point in units so now 15 lakh 84 thousand rupees total rupees of fixed cost divided by rupees 12 per unit you would be getting an idea that the how many number of units are going to man, manufacture where the company in a position no profit no loss and that is 1,32,000 units so it means that from this information they arrived the answer that at the point of 1,32,000 units manufactured and sale that company will in a position that no profit as well as no loss this is a situation in case of units suppose if they ask to find out the break even point in rupees so that will also you can easily find out the break even point in value see the very easy to find out in case of if you follow by this method the break even point in units multiplied by sales price we have 132000 units and the sales price is 40 rupees per unit so the multiplication of this would be 52 lakh 80 thousand 52 lakh 80 thousand rupees this is your break even point in value break even point in value it's 52 lakh 82 thousand rupees so here we would be getting an answer that what amount of value were the break even point no profit or no loss situation we have another formula also to determine break even point and that break even point is equal to f into s upon s minus v if you are using this formula you can directly find out the break even point in values instead of you can do it in this sequence so we have a fixed cost is 15 lakh 84 thousand into s is 40 upon 40 minus 28 so 15 lakh 84 thousand into 40 divided by 12 your answer would be directly rupees 52 lakh 80 thousand this is your break even point in values so in this way also you can find out your break even point if you are using direct this formula instead of to find out units you can directly find out break even point in values also so here we already determined the break even point from the available information now we have some additional information along with this information also and they asked to find out break even point only uh, but we need to have a some part of changes like first thing we will take it in case of the sales required to earn a profit of rupees 1,20,000 so this is something new they ask that sales required to earn profit of rupees 
one lakh twenty thousand. So this is your adjustments. It means that the company asked to find out a profit if they earn a profit of rupees one lakh twenty thousand. So we need to identify the sales in case of the profitability is one lakh twenty thousand. Here we find out no profit or no loss situation. Here they ask something different. They ask if they wanted to earn a one lakh twenty thousand rupees profit, then what would be the sales? So now for that we have a different formula that is necessary sales the formula is necessary sales is equal to f plus p upon c this is a formula it means that necessary sales means the amount of sales required for earning of the certain amount of profit that is called necessary sales f it means fixed cost p means profit p means profit and c is a contribution which we already have here this is a contribution per unit so it would be directly coming here f is how much f we already determined here that is 15 lakh 84 thousand rupees profit how much they want 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees so this is a profit requirement and the contribution is 12 rupees per unit so now the changes it comes it is 17 lakh 4 thousand 4 8 plus 2 10 1 carry 6 and 7 17 lakh 4000 total expected revenue divided by your contribution per unit it comes to 12 and then answer it comes 1 lakh 42000 so 1 lakh 42000 units that this is a position if company manufactured 1,42,000 units and sale it, they will earn a profit of rupees 1,20,000. So this is an adjustment where you can use another formula how to find out the necessary sales. Different. In case of break-even point, the break-even point situation is 1,32,000. But in case of a profitability, the necessary sales is comes to 1,42,000 rupees. Another adjustments we have and that is in case of the selling price per unit is reduced by 10 percent in case of if the selling price is reduced by 10 percent then the what would be the new break even point what would be the new break even point if selling price reduced by 10 percent so this is your another adjustments they ask to find out the new break even point if their selling price has been reduced by 10%. For this, we need this previous information also. What was the uh, selling price old or one? Sales price old, that is 40 rupees per unit, less 10% reduce, decrease, that is 4 rupees. So, sales price new and the new sales price it comes to rupees 30. Six. So your new sales price is rupees thirty six. Out of the from this thirty six rupees sales price, we need to calculate a contribution first. So contribution formula is S minus V. Your sales price per unit is rupees thirty six. Your variable cost is it remains same. It's not changed. Only sales is changed. What is your variable cost? It is twenty eight. So now your contribution it comes to rupees eight per unit. Your contribution it comes rupees 8 per unit when the selling price is reduced by 10%. Now we can use the formula break even point is equal to fixed cost divided by contribution. And your fixed cost is also remain same that is 15 lakh 84,000 divided by 8 rupees per unit and the difference the division of these two figures it comes to amount of uh, 1 lakh 98,000 units so your answer is 1 lakh 98,000 units is your break-even point in case of the selling price is reduced by 10 percent this is what all about your first problem where we will try to see how to find out the break-even point in rupees and that means in values as well as in units and along with that when there are certain changes also now moving to the next problem in the second problem we have a certain other type of information but in the other type of information also we are going to find out the break even point only or we are going to find out uh, break even, instead of the break even point what would be the necessary sales in case of 
द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इज गिवन और प्रॉफिट अमाउंट इज गिवन नाउ हियर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवन इन अ वैल्यू इंस्टेड ऑफ पर यूनिट दिस आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो वी कैन नॉट यूज द फॉर्मूला वेर द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन डिटरमाइंड फर्स्ट देन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वी यूज द फॉर्मूला दैट इज नेसेसरी सेल्स इज इक्वल टू एफ प्लस पी अपॉन सी दैट फॉर्मूला मे नॉट बी यूजिंग यूर now see the uh, information information is in a company sales are rupees 9000 so first information we have a sales are rupees 9000 after the sales and variable cost is rupees 5400 so variable expenses is rupees 5400 again as i mentioned we don't have values and information for unit we have a total values and fixed expenses rupees 1800 we have a fixed cost rupees 1800 find out sales required to earn a profit of rupees 2700 we need to find out required sales that means necessary sales is find out in case of the profit earned is rupees 2700 so that they want a 2700 rupees profit uh, what would be the necessary sales and for that we have a formula necessary sales is equal to f plus p into s upon s minus v this is your formula f plus p into s upon s minus v if you go if you seen that the previous formula that was also f into s upon s minus v here the formula is f plus p into s upon s minus v so how we can actually identify the profitability just see your fixed cost is given that is 1800 rupees your profit expected is 2700 rupees this is your expectation of your profit and on the basis of that only we will identify your necessary sales into your sales is 9000 rupees divided by sales 9000 minus your 5400 rupees variable cost so we put it all the values which are given in the equations in the respected formula now try to solve out this equation 2700 plus 1800 it comes to uh, 4500 rupees if i am not wrong yes 9000 is as, as it is and 9000 minus 5400 it comes to 3600 all right so here uh 94 is 36 and 95 is 45 uh the division it comes to when you find out 95 is 45000 divided by 4 Four ones are four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four fives are. It comes to eleven thousand two hundred and fifty. Sorry, eleven thousand two hundred and fifty rupees. It cannot be in units. Why it is not in units? Because all the figures are given in rupees, not in as per per unit. So the very simple way, but the different formula. In case of if all the figures are given in rupees. and they asked to find out the necessary sales we cannot use the previous formula we cannot use the formula which was used in the first problem but we need to find out the another formula and that is necessary sales and profit along with this fixed cost so this is the way to find out your necessary sales in values in case of the figures are given in a different format hello now we are moving to the next problem and in this problem we just identified the different type of formulas and different type of revisions of the formula to identify the same things ultimately we are going to find out the break even point contributions and uh, the part of the selling price uh, of uh, the respected concern but the thing is in a different way the thing is actually determined in a uh, in a different format so for that we take another question and the question is the certain informations are given uh, regarding the product manufacturing and uh, the informations are we have a first information that is selling price per unit it is selling price per unit and that is rupees 60 per unit 
then we have another information is variable cost per unit and variable cost per unit is rupees 45 per unit then we have a total fixed cost that is 1,20,000 total fixed cost 